Tony Gould didn't have to go far to find someone to promote his first album that came out in July. His wife, Emily, says she is his biggest fan. She's also his business partner and handles publicity for his performances and CD sales. As far as picking up kind of the business aspect and actually doing something practical with the band instead of just being there to applaud at the end of the night, um, that happened right away as soon as he became serious about the first album. That was something I realized um, I was good at and I could contribute to and I could help him out and let him do what he does best, perform and be the artist and I could pick up and help where I could. Tony's performing some of the songs from his album at Annie's in Edwardsville. He's taken the artist's name Better Luck this time for his first CD called This Is What It's Like To Be Me. Emily says Tony's songs are really a story of his past, his life experiences as well as hers. You know, it's just certain stories from previous you know, experiences in my life, things I've gone through that uh, you know, I just jot down and all of a sudden it just evolves into a song. It's not anything that I, I really sit down and say, okay, you know, I'm going to write a song about this and then write it out. They always just kind of happen, you know, it just, it just all of a sudden gets written out. And I'm like, oh, that makes for a pretty good song. And I run through it and, and uh, it just turns into one. Tony says his goal is to make his songs broad enough and appeal to be enjoyed by different people. You can take it one way and really get something out of it and feel really inspired. And, uh, and then the person sitting next to you that you don't even know can, can have a, a completely different feeling from the same song. I think that's the coolest thing about music. I love the, this very relaxed feel of it all. And, you know, you can come out and get some ice cream on a really nice night and listen to some great music. Tony and Emily attended the same church youth group in middle school and even went on a double date together. But they started dating seriously in 2004 when Emily was attending Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. They married in September of last year. Tony says it was a big step to put his music on a CD and out into the marketplace. I mean, that's the first step is basically putting yourself out there, you know, with no limitations, basically recording a CD and, and you know, getting thousands of them, you know, and starting <laughs> and, and just sitting there looking at all these boxes of CDs and you're thinking, okay, now it's really for real. I cannot, you know, I can't turn back basically now. I'm Larry Ingram reporting for the Suburban Journals. Thank you, guys.